Morning guys, I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to take a moment and talk to you about your Class Connect sessions because I know in the past couple weeks you have seen some changes to those with both um, the whole group session, the small group sessions, as well as the help sessions, so pretty much everything. So I just wanted to go over that and ensure that we are all on the same page and you guys know exactly what's expected of you. So the first thing I want to talk about is the help sessions. So I have recently, and all your teachers have actually done this, we've changed the name of the office hours to help sessions because we realized that a lot of students didn't know what we meant by office hours. So some of you may see these help sessions as required. Others may see them as optional. If you see it as required, well, that means it's required. You need to attend. But here's the nice thing. It's not like this is me giving you extra work. It's me giving you extra time to do the work. So how the help sessions run is you come in and you work on your IXL assignment. And then as you're working on the IXL assignment, when you get to a problem that you're not sure how to do, I screenshot that question and then we do it together on the whiteboard. So it's kind of like in the traditional setting when the teacher would give you 20 minutes of class time to work on your homework. That's kind of what this is. So it's really beneficial because it allows you to not only get your work done, but you have me there to help in case you have any questions. So those help sessions are offered every Monday and Thursday from 4 to 4.30 p.m. So right here in top, um, this is where I took a screenshot of your newsletter. So I remind you guys of the help session on your newsletter each week. And then down here in blue, that's what it looks like on your schedule, okay? Now, another question I've gotten is, well, I have overlapping ones. I see one for both math, pre-algebra, and for history. Well, if you are required to go to both, then you will choose to go to one on Monday and one on Thursday. So obviously, if you don't have to go to both, go to math on Monday and Thursday because that'll allow you to catch up and get all your work done. But if you do need to go to two at the same time, pick one to go on Monday and the other for Thursday. All right, now let's talk about the Class Connect sessions that occur every Wednesday and Friday. So every Wednesday, you guys have Class Connect sessions with me in the morning. So right here is a screenshot from your newsletter, what you see every single week. And it's me reminding you that both the whole group and small group are required. Because I know that's a big question is a lot of students are like, do I have to go to small group? Yes, they're both required. And everybody has whole group in small group between the times of 8 30 in the morning and 12 p.m so they occur in the morning hours which is really nice because then the afternoon can be used for you to work on your other assignments so let's focus in on wednesday so here's an example of one student's class connect so everybody now has the same whole group so i combined those two smaller 30 minute sections it made one larger whole group, which I think several of you guys have enjoyed because it allows us to talk a little bit more at the beginning. It allows us to go through more examples so you guys understand it better. And it gives us some time at the end to do some extra practice like quizzes or Kahoot or sometimes even have some extra work time. So every single one of you watching this video has whole group with me on Wednesday morning from 8.30 to 9.20, okay? Now, the small group is where your times may change. So your small group session still remains only 30 minutes, but you guys, because it's a small group, have it at different times. So this particular person has small group from 10 to 10.30, okay? So make sure you guys always check your schedule because it won't change every week, but every month or so you may see that your small group time may change. So always double check it so that way you don't miss it. And it is important that you come back to that because that is a time where we can do some more examples. So between your whole group and small group is when you're supposed to be using that time to work on math. So you can work on your IXL assignment. You can work ahead on your OMHS lessons. And then when you come back to small group, we can do some more examples together. You may realize, ooh, I really struggled on that IXL question. I need some help, Miss Nailstock. Well, then I can help you in the small group. All right, so then Friday, similar thing, only Friday, I see you in the afternoon. 
So this is a copy from your newsletter. So every Friday, guys, I see you for your sessions somewhere between 12.30 p.m. and 4 p.m. So I know it's on a Friday, but if you were in traditional school, you'd still have to go to school on Friday. So we got to treat it like it's ever any other day and still come to those sessions. So Friday, once again, everybody I now has the same whole group. And that is from 12.30 p.m. to 1.20 p.m. So that's perfect time. You guys can have your lunch right before and then your brain is all powered up. So you're ready to do some math. And then just like on Wednesday, in between the sessions, you need to be using that time to be working on your math assignments. So making sure since it's a Friday that all of your assignments are done because then you don't have to worry about it over the weekend. And then when next week starts, you're all set. And once again, your small group, your number will be the same. So this person is still with me for small group two, but obviously it's the afternoon, so the times are different. So make sure once again, you guys are looking at that time and seeing when you have small group with me, because that is required. And as several of you guys have figured out, what I've started is on Fridays, I'm making that Zoom Fridays. So every Friday during small group, we host the meeting in Zoom. Now, we've had some technical difficulties, which has been really disappointing, but we're going to keep trying, and I promise for those that it does work and we get those kinks worked out, it's awesome, and it's really nice to be able to see your guys' faces if you choose to turn your camera on. And if you don't, it's just nice to have a different setting, to use slightly different tools, and I've heard a lot of students say that the sound quality is better on Zoom, which makes it nice, okay? So hopefully this answered your guys' questions, and if it says required, it means required, but it will help you, all right? So these sessions are designed to help you understand the math better and to go over examples so that way you can be successful because I want you guys to all pass eighth grade and be able to move on to high school. That's the goal, okay? So as always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to send me an email or you can always ask me during our session because now that we have more time in whole groups, we can do a question time either at the beginning or at the end. All right. Thanks, guys. And make sure you're working on your OMHS lessons if you're watching this today on Tuesday so that way you can be ready for tomorrow's whole group. Bye, guys.